Hello there, this is Brian, and here is Maverick, and welcome to another one of our outdoor adventures. Have you ever had a day that started one way? And it went a different way. Something happened. Maybe it was small. Maybe it was big. Life is like that, isn't it? How many times do we start thinking about where we're going to go, make plans for it, and somehow it all goes sideways, up in smoke? The planner in us might say, eh, that's our fault. If we had just planned better, it would have turned out how we wanted then again, the pessimist would say that nothing's in our control and you're just along for the ride, so get used to it. And then there's the optimist. Every change in plans is just another adventure waiting to happen. A new place to explore, happy accidents to experience, walking along happy little trees under happy little clouds. Well, that happened to Maverick and I on our most recent outing. It had been some time since we visited Bald Mountain in New Jersey. It's an awesome place, and if you have the opportunity to go there, go there. There's this beautiful, tiny little pond off the trail that you can sit next to for hours, take it in, and just enjoy. So, we drove a good hour to get there, only to find out it was closed. And I'll admit, it upset me a little bit. But I reminded myself that I had a choice. I could stew over this travesty or shake and basically shake my fist in the air. I could beat myself up for not checking ahead of time. Or I could just see this as a happy accident. I chose the latter and had a great day in the end. So this is Tyler State Park in Southeast Pennsylvania. It's a little park um, outside of Newtown, Pennsylvania. Actually, it's near an area I used to work. And we hiked the Green Trail, which ended up being about six miles long across a variety of conditions, ranging from mud to rocky trails, pavement, and grasslands. We saw some horses, or as Maverick seems to like to think of them as really big dogs. We met a ton of other dogs. We chased a fox. We crossed a covered bridge. All in all, we had an amazing adventure. So this area was originally inhabited by the Lenape Indians. It's a wooded area that became luscious farmland and eventually a dairy farm. It's home to one of 16 covered bridges in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, one of the original three colonies in Pennsylvania. Just over 100 years ago, this, per this was purchased by George Tyler. He constructed and lived in Tyler Mansion, which currently resides at Bucks County Community College. He lived there with his wife, Stella Elkins Tyler, of whom Elkins Park is named after. Tyler left this estate to Temple University in 1963. A year later, the majority of the estate was sold to the Pennsylvania Commonwealth, where Tyler State Park resides now, with a small portion of the estate, including the Tyler Mansion, being sold to Bucks County to become, as I mentioned, Bucks County Community College. There is so much you can do in this park, walking and hiking on both paved and unpaved trails. There's horseback riding, canoeing, kayaking. There's actually even a full disc golf course within the park. And it's actually a really nice one at that. Now, if you're gonna hike this park, I would recommend the Green Trail. It starts on the northern end of the park, just north of the college on Swamp Road. You'll find a gravel trail that leads to a trailhead just outside Shoemaker Covered Wooden Bridge. Unfortunately, this is not the original bridge. The original burned down some 30 years ago, but they've rebuilt it using the same original techniques. The first part of this trail follows the Neshaminy Creek, which itself comes from part of the Chalfon extension of the Ramapo Fault Line. Don't worry, you're not near it really, and it's a very dormant fault line for the most part. It is the same one, though, that the other documentaries like to tell the tale of how it could bring down New York City. But most of that is on the other and hundreds of miles away. 
It does leave behind, though, some really interesting terrain. If you take the trail counterclockwise, you'll come across this. Um, you're going to see a lot of dips and valleys, which are part of old fault lines that are, at this point, definitely extinct and dormant. And you're probably going to come across at least one trail on this horse. I mean, <laughs> one horse on this trail. It never fails. From there, it leads to a series of trails across wheat fields and light roads. You head south to the top ridge within the park, which really provides an amazing view of the college from the other side of the creek. And from there, you eventually are going to pivot back north through a variety of terrain and small bridges. So, what could you expect to see if you're going to take this hike? Well, let's go ahead and take a look here. As you can see, uh, you know, these covered bridges, you don't see them as much anymore, obviously. Um, and I think there are 16 left in Bucks County, though. These were quite, quite common. Most of these were built in the 1800s or probably more toward the latter part of the 1800s. Peak holes here, there as you go through, which is pretty awesome. And at this point, this is a pedestrian bridge only, uh, except for service vehicles that'll come through. Now, this originally was the bridge that would connect a couple local towns across the Neshaminy Creek. Sit down. Sit. Come here to the side. Come here. Thank you. Yep. Good boy. Hi. Hi. All right, you go first. I apologize for sitting in the middle of the tree. No, no worries. <laughs> it's like the flattest place I've ever been. <laughs> Mag, stay there. Mav, no. Come on, up the, up the trail. <laughs> exactly. Try it here. There we go. Oh gosh. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This is where a second hiking stick would be handy. Oh, I'm just sinking it right into this mud. Hi. Hi. He's like a little husky, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, go ahead, get your energy out. Come on. Good boy. Come here. Stay with me. It's funny how this hike really was unexpected. It's not the part that I set out to tackle that day. But you know what? I'm really glad it turned out that way. And we had such a great time during this hike. And I wouldn't change it for anything. 
So remember that the next time that life throws you a curveball, how you react, it's up to you. And in the end, how you react really affects you the most. Do yourself a favor. Be happy. Choose to be happy. We don't live long on this earth, and it doesn't make sense not to be happy. Life can be a great journey if you just let it take you on these unexpected, amazing, different adventures that come into our lives every day. And sometimes we're on an adventure and we don't realize it until it's after. So, anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do us a solid. Click that like button. Subscribe if you like as well, because we'd really like to see you in our next great outdoor adventure. And until we do, get out there and make your own great outdoor adventures. And as always, take care.